Hello, my soccer universe. Yeah, it was the first time in a long time that we could watch soccer again today. Uh, but I won't talk about that now because, um, yep, something happened that actually even jumbled up my plans for uh, this week for me uh, for the videos because I want to actually do a Hall of Fame in induction um, this time an Austrian player for the first time to have all four categories started. No, it's a maintenance video but one of the kind where I can show you uh, if you're not careful stuff can go wrong. If you be if you follow me on Facebook and on Twitter you already know what kind of happened. Do you remember this jersey that I unpacked? I want to say one and a half, two weeks ago, the nice Netherlands 2010 jersey. Um, I've been wearing it, you know, I even ironed out a few stuff uh, on it. I saw already that the numbering was kind of a little bit um, bubbly and it was uh, definitely not original lettering. I could tell that already. But when I got it, you know, uh, jerseys that I usually get from mail, they have a distinct smell that I don't like. So I usually throw them immediately for like a very quick 15 minute wash in there, let them hang dry, all great. I also saw that in here, the Netherlands flag, and you see it already, it still bubbles, but it was really, really bubbly. And I ironed that out. Uh, but I also learned uh, over the past few days that some of the ironing that I did, um, you know, got also a little bit undone again. And I think, I thought it's probably because I'm washing too long. And this is where this tale also starts. There was Wesley Snyder on there on the back. I did today the laundry. Yes, in the household I'm volunteering to do the laundry because I'm very anal about my shirts and I want to have, have full control all, over those. And I thought, yeah, let's throw them together with all the, um, you know, I put them in bags, all the shirts that I've been wearing last week and put them with the other cold laundry that we had. And usually I only wash jerseys at most for 50 minutes. This time I said, oh, let's give them a really good wash. And then this jersey comes out and the numbering on the back is all flaky and unfortunately I didn't make pictures. But you see there was Wesley Snyder back up there. When it came out, the this part was more or less gone. Uh, very flaky, a lot of those letters came halfway off. So didn't like that one either. And it was in such a way that when I opened the bag where the drawer was in, that the, the pieces of the number came out. It was really absolutely flaky. And yeah, hmm. my wife was devastated, to say the least, when she, when she saw what happened. And I said, okay, let me hang the other shirts because I also washed the Pirlo uh, 2012 Italy shirt that I was wearing, you know, all kinds of uh, good stuff. And uh, the USA 10 with the number 10, there's no problem on there, but this one really uh, took a bad hit. And then I decided, okay, I can keep, I can iron on some flaky numbers and then have kind of this half 10 and figure out how I can recolor it or... I anyway didn't care too much about Wesley Snyder back up there. Let's take it all off. And so I did. And I have to say, while I'm not proud that the number came off, I have to say I don't mind this ghosted look. You can still see that it's Wesley Snyder, but the number is off. So if you're here, yeah, here's how it should look like. Here it is. But if you look at it, uh, yes, it's shiny because the cost is a light, but basically it's an orange shirt. So um, if I would have gotten that shirt, if I had the choice, I probably would have gotten it without number. So I, I like this half and half. This is probably for me the best solution. Does it look pretty? <laughs> I let you, you decide. I honestly, I'm not that unhappy with the end result. But again, yes, I'm a little bit buck. I should have been smarter about that. I should have only washed it for a shorter time. So yeah, even if you put your numbers in a bag, if the lettering already came a little bit loose at one time, or if it's very cheap lettering, it will not survive a long wash. That's what I learned from this episode here. <sighs> yeah, cautionary in the, in the tale. Fortunately, it's... I love this jersey, but it's not one of my fa favorite jerseys. It's also, again, emboldens me to just say I should not get jerseys with numbers on the back there anyway. Uh, last much longer. Now, I can leave it this way, 
or as another option I probably could try to find the name set again and uh, do it myself uh, for now I tend to leave to leave it that way if for any reason you know where I can uh, you see that name set let me know I might think about it but other than that it is what it is uh, as I said I'm not there uh, I'm not there with the devastated when you saw the number 10 uh, at the uh, sedan shirt from the euro euro 2000 uh, where there the numbering came off slightly I was way more annoyed than with this one I think with this I can very well live well as I said cautionary tale you can take all the all the precautions don't wash your choices for too long that's the long and short of it um, yeah and sometimes you gotta learn the hard way this is the stuff that happens uh, and if you're a collector I'm as I said I'm not too sad about it but you know um, stuff happens um, I was gonna do my next fixing video is kind of how to fix those little nasty poles where some fabric go out uh, I, I want to try this before I don't want to try this first on camera but uh, I think that would be probably the next video that you can expect in the maintenance but for now be careful how you wash your jerseys especially with names and numbers maybe a hand wash is just sufficient I'm just lazy I usually throw them in the machine maybe I will now from, from now on wash my jerseys if they if I wash them with numbers Wash them for a short time. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.